Hey everyone, it's Erin aka Star Sketch, and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video, which I feel like I haven't done a Q&A video in quite a long time. And that is why I decided to do one, because I feel like you guys always ask me interesting questions and I've gained a lot of subscribers over even the past year. So um, I figured it would be kind of a fun idea to do and you guys did send the questions like only seven of, seven of you like sent questions but you freaking asked me a book and I put in here all of the questions for the video. Um, I literally wrote every single one down so we're gonna go through one by one but before we get into that I just wanted to talk about some disclaimers and um, just uh, that kind of stuff. Just some housekeeping stuff. Um, one is I apologize if I seem a little off or just seem a little, you know, whatever. I'm still trying to get over my, uh, quote, keto flu, as my sister liked to call it. I don't know. It's just I am not feeling 110%. Um, and on top of that, I'm also, you know, dealing with other, like, lady stuff. Um, but if you see that I'm a little bit off, that's why. It's nothing, like, um, yes, I am feeling a little bit down because of the fact that I've been feeling this way. But it's not, like, I'm not me. <laughs> I'm just not as energetic as I normally am. Um, but I will be back to normal eventually. It's just all part of the process but um yeah so I'm just a lot more calmer a lot low energy but like not too bad another disclaimer is I have my window open so if you hear any you know outside noise or anything it's probably from my end because I do have my window open um and also if you hear any dog noises we have a teddy here so and he's just sleeping but if you do see him walking around behind me or something, don't fret, it's just Teddy. <laughs> but I think those are all the disclaimers I have to say. Um, I'm going to answer all of these as, you know, uh, honestly as possible for you guys, because you guys went in. And I will say where each of these people are from or where they asked me their question. And if they do have a YouTube channel, I will have it linked in the description box for you guys. Um, so you guys can go check them out. But without further ado, let's get into the questions in my journal. So, uh, the first person that asked questions was my good friend, Jammy. He does not do, um, like, social media or anything. He's just a personal friend of mine. And he asked me through Snapchat, he asked a couple questions. What color are your eyes and do you have a favorite color? Which the first one I was like, that's kind of random. You're my friend and you don't know my eye color. But maybe, I don't know. But um, my eyes are blue, very much blue, um, have always been blue. Like me and my sister um, both have blue eyes. My brother has brown and my other sister has like hazel. But mine are blue and my favorite color of all time is green. Um, it's probably because I am an Irish baby and I just always really love the color green. But yeah, the color green would definitely be my favorite color, like ever. Alright, my next person to ask questions is my good friend Rome. Um, and he asked me on Snapchat again. He does not do social media, but he is a big fan of mine. So hi. Um, and he asked quite a bit of questions, so where I'm going to read them all and then we're going to answer them one by one. Who's your biggest inspiration? What's your best motto? What's your greatest advice ever received? What's your biggest pet peeve? And what's your favorite genre of music? Okay, we're going through them one by one. Who's your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration would definitely have to be Kaylee Jade. Um, if you guys have not seen a previous video of mine where I was sitting kind of like this, um, I did a video called Dear Kaylee Jade and she 
is honestly one of my idols. I even still have her painting up on my wall and everything. Um, her, it, she's a big inspiration to me. Um, I would also say um, my mom. I know that sounds cheesy, but my mom. And I would also say Kayla Nicholson, who's also a YouTuber. Um, they've all helped me so, so much on my mental health journey, my just life journey in general. And yeah. Um, what's your best motto? Turn your lessons, or no, <laughs> turn your lemons into lessons. Sorry, I accidentally mixed it up. But that has been like my favorite little motto, I guess, like ever of just like turning the bad stuff in your past or just the stuff that you've been through that were struggles and turn them into lessons that you can learn and bring as wisdom as you grow older. Um, I also really like actions speak louder than words. That's something I always tell my friends, Rome and Jimmy know this too well, but basically I say that all the freaking time, like just, you know, actions speak louder than words, dudes. Like I just have gone by that motto just because of the fact that so many people from my past have lied straight to my face or will say that they're gonna do something and then they don't do something and it's just really annoying. So um, I just really like that motto just because, you know, instead of just being a talker, be a doer. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, next one from him is, what's your greatest advice ever received? My greatest advice ever received is probably, um, hmm actually a really good one I had to think about it for a second I would I would imagine that it would be from my mom or something um but all I kept remembering my mom telling me as I was growing up throughout my mental health journey is and also my dad as well is just as long as you're happy we're happy basically so um that's like a big thing that I have received is like the people who actually love you in your life will be happy when they see you happy and thriving and doing what you do because you're happy doing it you know so that would be that and then what's your biggest pet peeve I kind of talked about this yesterday with my family but my biggest pet peeve I guess uh, that I've noticed recently is like when people like we're either playing a game or in a conversation or something and they're distracted by something else and are just totally like doing their own thing and like you know not paying attention like that stuff bothers me like I don't know why just like if we're playing a game focus on the game focus on the present moment in front of you instead of like looking at the tv screen or looking at your phone or you know getting distracted or whatever I don't know that is definitely something I've noticed over the last little bit and what's your favorite genre of music definitely I love um I love just anything with heavy bass or just you know the the bass drops excuse me um because it just makes my heart like beat really fast and I just really like the feeling so like electronic dance music um you know I don't know what genre Melanie Martinez would be under because I feel like she does so many different things but like Melanie Martinez as a genre <laughs> um and I do love pop music some pop music um I do listen to like Ariana Grande and Selena Gomez you know just like icons really um but and then I do also love trap music which is considered under electronic dance music um but yeah so thanks Rome for asking those questions next uh we'll move on to um on YouTube and also these are not in any particular order these are just literally the first ones that I received so I like I'm going in order based on when I receive them so the next person who asked uh, a couple of questions, but she did write a little lengthy message, but I will read the whole thing uh, and I wrote it down and it's by Surrounded by Colors on YouTube. Um, I made like a community post and she was one of the ones to comment on it. And she said, 
what got you started in the pot slash weed culture as in when did you start smoking and what benefits do you feel it provided for you i mean no disrespect in this question i'm curious lol i personally don't smoke but several of my sisters do and my dad last question how was star sketch as a brand for your art and other art projects born lol all right so we'll start with the first one um, which is what got you started in the pot slash weed culture. So if you guys didn't know, I am very much, you know, um, well, over the last few days, I haven't really been daily smoking. I definitely have been smoking the last two. But the uh, before that, like for two days, I did not smoke, which was crazy because I'm typically a daily smoker. Um, I just... Basically what got me started into it was just because of the curiosity of it. Um, it kind of started um, back when COVID, um, the pandemic began, and me and my family were just kind of bored <laughs> and were just in the house all the time and had nothing really to do because everyone was just home and trying to find some things to do while this was all going on. So because of that, um, we decided that we saw that there was a new dispensary opening in my town. And we were like, let's try it out. Because also my brother has smoked literally ever since I can remember him doing it. Um, well, he hasn't like smoked since he was a kid. I'm saying like in high school he would. Um, but so I kind of grew up around that, but I always had a negative connotation with it. But then I saw so many people come out about it, how, how beneficial it is and everything. And my family was starting to learn more and more about it too. And so we decided as a family to try edibles, which are basically, if you've never done them, they're just, you know, like a chocolate bar or, you know, gummies or something. I preferred the chocolate bars, especially milk chocolate. And... All you did was take a piece or two pieces, depending on how much you wanted to take was the amount of weed that you would consume. And you just ate it and then you sit there and you wait and then it happens. You get high and then I just remember one of the greatest memories me and my family have are just all of us taking edibles and playing games, like board games during the pandemic. And that was just like such like a fun memory. I know that sounds like, oh my God, you and your family are like, you know, they, you did drugs together, but it wasn't like drugs. Like I don't, yes, weed is a drug, but at the same time, it's not like, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but basically because of that um, time, that is when I started, you know, taking edibles pretty much Day, not daily actually I think it would be like every weekend kind of a thing is what me and my family would do and then it got to a point where I just saw all over social media people smoking and you know me being a trippy artist um a lot of people assumed that I would you know be smoking weed and coming up with these ideas and stuff which I wasn't at the time until about um a year and a half ago is when I started smoking weed daily. Um, at the time, me and my ex now, um, well, at the time he was my boyfriend, now ex, you know what I mean? Um, we decided, we were like, why don't we just try? Because he, whenever he would come over uh, with me and my family, he would do the edible stuff and that wasn't really working for him. So then we were like, let's try smoking. So then we got, I got my first pipe and me and my boyfriend would share it. So you know, we would do that and that seemed to be working. Um, but yeah, um, so I just kind of got started into it when I was in a relationship more or less. Um, and just, you know, that was interesting. And then me and him broke up. We all know what happened there. And I still continued to smoke. It wasn't a um, attachment of smoking with him or anything. Um, I did make a painting though of how um, you know, smoking did kind of ruin some parts of the relationship and stuff. Like, um, yeah, I don't really want to get into that right now, but, um, but since growing from that and when I was single for a long time up until like a couple months ago, which I don't really want to talk about that relationship. <laughs> 
of either. I feel like all of like my weed stories like go with a relationship I was in, but not really because I was, you know, single for about nine, ten months of the time that I, I've been smoking weed and now I'm single again and still smoking weed on a regular basis. So it's like so crazy. I just, you know, um, what made me start getting into it was essentially boredom. <laughs> I know that was a long ass answer, but, um, and what benefits do I feel it provides me? It just, as of recently, especially being so accustomed to it, it helps me sleep better. It lessens my nighttime anxiety for sure because the two days um, since being not feeling super well um, and having to like sit down all the time and stuff like that, um, that could be, you know, a story time for another video. But um, yeah, basically the benefits, just better sleep. Um, I feel less anxious and depressed at night because I'm just in this euphoric state I guess in a way and just kind of be able to just drift off into sleep easier um and I feel like also it just kind of boosts my creativity a lot too especially when I it depends on the strain that I smoke but both of them really just boost my creativity honestly um and the other question that you did ask was how was Star Sketch as a brand for your art and other creative projects born so Star Sketch in general was born um it's basically like as a way for me to it basically started because art was more like medicine for me during my mental health journey and i was told by my friends like you can make money off of this like why don't you just do what you love as kind of like your job in a way even though i am on disability you know but like do it as like your job like and I was like yeah why not so I got super into it did a bunch of research into it sorry lightheadedness Oof. um and just yeah it just basically just one of my friends told me to get it started and that helped me kind of motivate myself to do it and then um I slowly started to tell my family more about it and they were super supportive of it they always have been super supportive of it so um I guess just like outside motivation I guess so just like for my people that support me um really pushed me to you know get my things out there and everything so thank you for your questions surrounded by colors next person to ask questions is chelsea's creative escape uh from youtube and she said what made you get into art and start your own business basic i know but i'm not good at asking questions lol you're good girl that's a great question um what made me get into art and start my own business um i kind of already answered that but i'll kind of go into more detail with it um how i started getting into art um, well, I actually didn't really explain this. I started getting into art more and more in high school as a coping mechanism to, you know, I went through a lot my sophomore year. Um, I didn't really understand girl code, I'll just say that. And a lot of the friends that I had were no longer my friends. And it really put a damper on my mental health. I didn't know it was a damper on my mental health at the time, but, um, because of that, I suffer from a lot of like loneliness and isolation and just feeling like an outsider in my school. Um, and so because of all of that, I used art as a way to escape in a way. Um, it was a form of escapism. I would literally, I vividly remember being in like homeroom or sometimes I'd go to the library and just sit by myself and sketch and doodle while listening to music while I'm surrounded by people in their groups of friends and I was just sitting there alone. But it was during those times that I really developed a practice for my artwork. And I think that those times were beneficial. Yeah, it sucked. I didn't have any friends to like go to in the morning to like hang out with before I started my class, but you know, it was something to do. <laughs> 
and I kind of already answered how I started the business was just kind of outside motivation and also just something for me to do um like like this year was the second birthday of it and it was really when COVID started that I was like I need to do something I need you know some structure and so that's what also kind of pushed me to do it so thank you for your question Chelsea um next question comes from Maria from the discord server thank you for your questions she asked me so many so many so let's get into them I'll read them all and then one by one um what do you do when you have a bad day who is your inspiration for art what is your karmic lesson in this lifetime? What are the best, what are the benefits of smoking weed? What is your favorite coloring book? Where do you see yourself in five to 10 years time with Star Sketch? And what is your favorite app on your phone? Damn girl, you ask a lot of questions. Let me, let me take a sip first before we uh, continue. So I've already been filming for 20 minutes. I've already answered a couple of these, I'm pretty sure, but we'll go through one by one. So what do you do when you have a bad day? Well, the first thing, as soon as the bad thing happens, I just go to my bed. <laughs> That's like the first thing that I do. I just go to my bed and just lay there and just kind of center myself first and just be like, you know, that happens, but we're not gonna let it ruin our day. <laughs> but at the same time, like, I usually just go on my bed and then just like go on my phone, which sounds like awful to do, but it helps me. That's exactly what I do. And then once that's done, I do things that make me happy, that will make me happy basically, like coloring, journaling, tar I do, maybe do like a tarot reading based on the situation, um, get outside, walk my dogs, you know, just do like self-care things. Um, yeah. And then I make sure I always go to bed early on the nights or the, excuse me, on the days that I'm having a bad day or whatever. Um, who is your inspiration for art? Definitely Trippy Draws. Um, Kaylee Jade also, because she's been releasing some art pieces little by little. Um, not releasing them, but like showing glimpses of them. Um... So yeah, definitely those two. Trippy Draws is like the like icon of trippy art. So um, yeah, I look up to her a lot. Um, what is your karmic lesson in this lifetime? I don't need a man to be happy. That was deep. I don't need a man or woman to be happy. I should say that because like, I like both. Um, <laughs> What are the benefits of smoking weed? We already talked about that, so I am gonna skip the question considering we already talked about it, but yeah. Um, what is your favorite uh, coloring book? Right now, my favorite coloring book at the moment would probably have to be the um, one of the new ones I got that I showed in my recent live stream, which is Express Yourself Mindfulness Coloring Book. I didn't think I would like it. I was like, mm, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But it like not only combines coloring, but it combines coloring with like drawing and like mindfulness and meditation and reflection. It's like super deep. I love doing it when I'm high, <laughs> going back to the weed question, but it's one of my favorite coloring books at the moment. Um, but as a regular coloring book, I would say Modern Witches by Coco Wayo. Just super adorable and I love it. I'm looking at my shelf right now to see if there's any others. But those would have to be, and self-care by Coco Wayo. Like that's always my go-to. Um, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years time with Star Sketch? In five to 10 years time. So by that time it would be between 2028 and 2033, which is crazy to even think about. Um, in five to ten years time, I'm hoping that, well, first off, I'm hoping I'm not living here. <laughs> I know that's like a weird thing, but um, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be in my own space and have a dedicated art studio room um, in my living space or at least, you know, like maybe in my living room or something in my apartment or whatever in the future. Um, and I would be a lot more 
active because you know living with family and stuff there's like there's some points where you're you want to be doing something but then family's like oh let's do this instead I'd probably be more active with it and making more TikToks and all of that um by then um I, I know I'm super active now but you guys know what I mean I would be posting a lot more um and doing more like live streams and stuff um I also see myself by then um collaborating with other artists for sure I mean I've already kind of done that but I feel like I need to do more collaboration and I do you know it'd be a dream come true I do want to have my art displayed in a dispensary I feel like that would be so cool or at least get a little booth or something to like display my art in it you know I was gonna try to do that this year but just with everything going on I just no it just wasn't like it just it wasn't right timing so yeah so those are like where I see myself with star sketch and what is your favorite app on your phone um favorite app on my phone I have quite a few I you know I love uh, me a good snapchat a good tiktok you know whatever but I cannot live without my booster buddy app which is essentially my app that reminds me to take my pills every day and all that which reminds me I have not done that today <laughs> it reminded me but I dismissed it so I have to do that after this video but um yes booster buddy honestly is one of my favorite apps it reminds me to take my medications it gives me a little buddy that I can like dress up and everything I do little quests and stuff and that's been really helping me recently um so yeah uh thank you Maria for all those questions a ton of questions but I love all the questions um next is Linda from uh Snapchat aka Buffy aka Linda Luna XO aka Comfy Cozy Color she goes by a bunch of different names um she always comments on things so I will be sure to leave her YouTube below I'm not sure if she posts anything but you could still say hi to her um but yeah so um but Linda she asked me on snapchat because we have each other on snapchat and she says what are your favorite music tv film books coloring books games etc so I already talked about like my favorite coloring books already so music I already kind of talked about Melanie Martinez you know all that in the beginning tv if I were to turn on the tv right now <clears throat> and watch a show it'd probably be like RuPaul's Drag Race I've been really getting into lately because I went to a drag show and like I don't know um maybe I would watch to like Spongebob that's always like a that's always a mood and My Little Pony and anything Disney <laughs> movie or yeah film aka movies um anything Disney anything horror related I love horror films um I love I, another show that I will put on sometimes like any time that I'm like sick and just need a binge watching show um is Hell's Kitchen Gordon Ramsay yelling at people is like therapy to me <laughs> um favorite books um I would definitely say <sighs> Everything, Everything by, has it on my shelf, um, by Nicole Yoon, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce their last name, um, that's obviously one of my favorite books of all time, honestly, um, Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli, um, that's one of my favorite childhood books, I have it on my shelf, and... I had to pick one more. Shadows Before Dawn by uh, Teal Swan. It's probably one of my favorite like self-help books. So yeah. Uh, and games. Um, so in terms of video games, I love Fortnite and Disney Dreamlight Valley. And in terms of like board games or just card games, my family and I love to play Scat, um, Yahtzee. Um, 
Scrabble, <laughs> uh, trivia games, and like Monopoly, Clue, that kind of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question, Linda. Thank you for sending that in. And last but not least, we have Color by Brandy. She asked uh, a couple questions. She asked through YouTube. She asked, do you still got your very first sketchbook or any art from when you were younger? And do you do digital art? So I do have some sketchbooks from as I was growing up. I have them underneath my bed in like a little storage thing. Um, I have kept those. Um, and I also have a lot of pictures on my phone that has um, all, most of my sketchbook pictures saved just in case I ever damage it or anything. Um, so there's that. Uh, so yes, I still do have all those. I even have some like art from when I was like a kid in my like memory stuff up on the third floor, I say, like in the storage stuff, um, like in my baby book and all that. So yeah, I love looking through that stuff. And do you do digital art to end off this Q&A? And yes, I do do digital art. I even do um, digital art commission requests, little shout out. Um, you can check that out on my website, link down below. Um, I do like wallpapers I've made. I do um, like, I do wallpapers, I do stickers. I make my own stickers through my digital art, my prints are through digital art, um, stuff like that. So if you guys want me to make more wallpapers, I just realized I haven't made a, like a new wallpaper in such a long time, let me know. And I could definitely start doing those again. Um, but yeah, and stickers and prints, you can find those on my website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q and A video. Thank you for all your questions. I really enjoyed answering them. And I'm sorry for like me being, you know, low energy and stuff. It's just, I'm trying to get through this guys. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye guys.